This is Strange New Orleans, and I'm the Reverend Master Jeffrey. This is part of our ongoing series, Gallery Macabre. Now, I'm mostly known as a historian, mafia, vice, prostitution, Lee Harvey Oswald, things of that nature. But, I used to do ghost tours. Ghost tours, and on occasion I will do them as well. Been involved in a few uh, paranormal investigations. And everybody wonders, well, if you're such a person stuck on facts and documentation and things like that, how did you ever get involved in uh, Ghost? That was real simple. <laughs> I moved to New Orleans. 1995, I was here for a year, party days, living on Bourbon Street, and getting married Halloween 2000, or uh, sorry, getting married Halloween 1995. Rented a little guest house back in the Bywater called the Maze Ant. Nothing really happened at that time, but let's fast forward five years. It is now 2000. I am moving back to New Orleans on my own. Ended up getting a job there. A gentleman named Bob Geralt uh, owned the property with his wife and asked me if I would be the live-in resident, resident manager basically. He passed away shortly after I moved in and I got to run the place for about three years. Back of the Bywater, 906 Maisant Street, corner of Maisant and Burgundy. Now, I'm new to New Orleans. I really don't think too much about all this ghost stuff and you know, all seeing the tours at night, thinking that's just a bunch of malarkey for tourists. And then shit starts to happen. The first year there, I used to put couples up in room number four, top of the stairs up on the balcony on the left hand side. It was a gorgeous room, it had medallions in the ceiling, fireplace mantle floor-to-ceiling windows opening up onto the balcony. Nice sweet spot. But every single couple I put up there was ending their vacation, arguing, fighting, breaking up, and or talking about divorce. Every couple. Thought it was weird, but really didn't think too much into it. Had a uh, key gremlin. Every couple of months. Keys in room number two. They're in a locked lockbox in my locked office overnight. I come out in the morning and they're not there. Somebody comes into my office saying, Jeffrey, I found the keys to room number two in my pocket this morning and I don't know how I got them. Or I wake up and they're actually hanging in the lock of room two and the room has been empty for several days. All kinds of weird stuff like that as well. Um, there was also the name whisperer. He'd be in a room, in a hallway, empty space, no one around, uh, whole floors, even the whole house is empty. And about a foot or two behind you, you'll hear your name and there's nobody there. It happened to myself a couple of times. It happened to a number of guests. All kinds of antics happened. Now, I never really thought too much into this. You know, I'm still new in the city, hanging out at the neighborhood's bar, becoming a local. It's New Orleans. Drink up. <laughs> but, became friends with a man named Mr. Lou. Lou's an older gentleman. He has been in the city for decades and decades, and he used to be the manager of that property a couple of decades before I was. Months of knowing the man, turns to me, looks at me dead in the eye one night and goes, so uh, Jeffrey, have you seen the ghost of the woman up in room four? I'm like, Lou, dude, man, what the hell are you talking about? And he goes, no, there's a ghost of a jealous woman up there. We don't know where she came from, but we've always had problems with uh, couples in the room. Are you having any problems? Well, I almost shit my pants at that moment. My jaw's on top of the bar. In the next 15 minutes, I'm just, bah, 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 everything that happened to me. Went home that night, stopped putting couples in room four, and I never had that problem again. Now, years later, the property has changed hands a couple of times. In fact, at this current moment, it is back into being a guest house. You can rent the entire place, check it out, see what happens. Let me know, <laughs> honestly. I'll come have a drink with you on the balcony. But one of the uh, owners was a private resident briefly and a friend of a friend. I end up talking to her on the phone because she thought her house was haunted and the friend says, well, my friend Jeffrey's a ghost story guy, maybe he knows something. And call me up and I say, what's the address? And they go, well, it's 906 Mazan Street. Like, <laughs> yeah, the house is haunted. <laughs> a whole bunch of ghosts. I explained basically everything that had been happening to me and all that stuff had been happening to her. The name whisper, her husband heard it, they had a contractor, turned out to be crooked, but he hears his name, heading up the stairs, felt something on his shoulder, and just hears a, get out, out the door, never to return. So all kinds of stuff is still happening, but that's what got me into this whole thing. 
And that's how I ended up becoming a ghost tour guide and ended up working with paranormal investigation companies in Florida and in New Orleans. In fact, even a few more coming. But it's Halloween. So why don't you come on down here and do your own exploring. Find a little guest house, because trust me, just about every house in New Orleans has a ghost story or two. And even outside the neighborhood, we've got 300 years of pestilence, crime, war, murder, all kinds of fun stuff. Happy Halloween.